Okay, here I am outside the Theosophical Society out in the Chicagoland area. It is the uh, national headquarters. It holds a giant library like Alexandria type library of information, esoteric, spiritual. And uh, I'm going to take you inside and see what's going on in here. Okay, one thing I noticed right away as I walk up to the building is that there's an esoteric symbol on the outside of the building. Uh, it's a combination of esoteric symbols, really. I see the hexagram, which is the six-pointed star, the balance of the male and female energies, or the spirit and matter balanced, the human being in the middle, the symbol of alchemy on the outside, that snake, kind of time, cyclical, a swastika, which is the creative energy outpouring, reversed its destruction, and it says, there's no religion higher than truth. This is on the outside of the national headquarters for the Theosophical Society here in the Chicagoland area. First thing that I noticed as I entered the lobby were these astral-like paintings that adorn the walls. It seemed to symbolize the evolution of spirit through matter. Very colorful. I learned that the building is used for spiritual workshops and lectures. There's even a meditation room on the second floor, which has symbols throughout it from all the major religions. Here we're looking at more of the mural, some of the imagery of the evolution of life. On the left there are there's some pamphlets on the society's teachings, such as reincarnation and so forth. Here we see pictures of the three founders of the Theosophical Society, including Madame Blavatsky and Henry Olcott on the left, who founded this building and library. Madame Blavatsky was a 19th century mystic who wanted to synthesize all of the esoteric spiritual knowledge. And here we find in this Alexandria type library, a place where a person can find books and literature from all the religions and ancient traditions. There's a section there on Vedanta, part of the Hindu spirituality and religion. The library is broken up into sections covering everything from religions such as Hinduism, Judaism, Christianity, to Egyptian, to the occult, to magic. Here I am looking at a pamphlet on true semi and pseudo occultism. Really all these pamphlets, these books, this literature, it's all slivers of truth truth that is helping us understand who we are. And like this saying says, there's no religion higher than truth. <laughs>